it was a nice win. And I, I think that uh, our guys, you know, learned a lot about themselves this week, especially, uh, you know, last last Saturday night, you know, riding that bus home from Ogden. It was a really disappointed group of guys. And, uh, you know, I told him, I said, there's, there's just one way to fix it. He said, we took an 0-2 week and make it a 2-0 and week. And especially the opportunity they had two in-state games that last all year you know they don't you don't win a game and just go away those games last you know until you play each other again and uh and that's where we are and and in the locker room the guys you know they were uh they were a happy group and you know we had a nice quick little celebration and we'll move on to uh the next one with portland state on wednesday you guys got to uh win a trophy as well today they presented the deseret uh, first duel award to the team and they got to have that on the court yeah we, I mean, we and we've got a few of those that, yeah. you know they're in our war, war room uh you know back at the annex and uh it's always interesting to me when we're just in the middle of the year or summertime or when we're having meetings in there and you, you look at the scores of those games and uh you know this is this will end up being one of one of the higher point totals for us these, these you know this 70 point 74 point game was uh, a really good um, shooting 40 high 40s uh, from the field uh, over 50 percent I think in the second half uh, you know for the game 57 second that's, half. that's a good offensive night but defensively I thought that you know our guys were much more connected tonight and uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm really happy for them for the win Coach, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I think you know it means a lot to me to get those wins and to Cougar fans everywhere, so thank you for that. You mentioned it already. You, you said the, the guys kind of learned a lot about themselves. What what did you learn as a coach about this group uh, coming off of the three losses, and now you have these two really nice wins in a row? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this, that uh, I learned a lot about Luke and TJ, our two captains. I mean, these are guys, you know, who really care, and they come from – you know, halfway across the United States, difference. You know, you, TJ's, you know, 15 miles up the road and Luke's 2,000 miles from Wisconsin. But these guys, uh, you know, as leaders of this of this team, I mean, they just they just really challenged each other. You know, and I don't think you can take anything away from obviously from Yo and the three games that he's had. You know, as far as back to back, but these two games this week, I think. Those guys, they just got they just got this group playing with a lot of passion and a lot of energy and a lot of purpose. And I think that was the biggest word from our end as coaches, was that we're we don't we're just looking for uh, better purpose on offense and better purpose purpose on defense. And I think you've seen a lot of that from our guys. But uh, you know, Luke Luke was just, hey guys, we we, we need more emotion. We we need it in practice. We need it in you know, our film session, we needed, you know, everywhere we go, we need to have more emotion about um, how important this is to us and, um, you know, how, how we're going to connect to each other. And that's the beauty of having seniors. I mean, a senior captain with the leadership of, of him, of his ability, is, is just tremendous for us. Then Coach, he goes out, Luke that is, and in just under nine minutes of play, makes a ton of big plays at a time when things were a little sketchy he made some huge plays including a loose ball tie-up makes a couple shots around the rim i thought he played a loose ball knock away got a steal when we got a foul got two free throws out of it so he he made so many emotional plays and that that's his you know that's his whole charge to the team is just they those are the plays that are going to you know put us over the edge And, and if we're playing with the right purpose and we have the emotion and we're connected hey this is a what I believe to be a pretty special team. Well, Coach Rose, the last time that a BYU player scored 30 or more in three consecutive games, it was Jimmer Fredette near the tail end of his senior season for you. So uh, that's who did it last, and now Yoli's done it. 31, 31, 31 in the in-state games. Amazing. Yeah, and he, he's uh, you know he's obviously got a, a, a target on him. They, everybody wants to double. Everybody wants to... But they're all, you know, just a little bit hesitant to see what the rest of our guys are going to do. And I think that uh, we talked about this this week when we had him in studio on our show about how good of a playmaker he's become. And uh, I think that's really helped him with his ability to score because there are things that you used to be able to do to Yo that cause problems that now he's really efficient at. And... You know, he he, uh, he got the ball in, we got the ball in, he got the ball out, and we, you know, we made some 
big plays that way. But uh, when when you start the game the way he started the game, I mean, it's almost like, you know, why don't you just throw him the ball every single time? Uh, and, you know, the, the situation is that he can – he can move out on the floor. And we can use him in handoff. We can use him in pick and roll. He hit a big three tonight, so that's keeping everybody a little bit honest. If you just want to give it to him, then you know you're taking your chances. So I, I just really, you know, I'm really impressed on how he has um, not only been able to score the ball, but he's been scoring the ball since he got here. But his ability to make plays with the ball. Well, that must have been a, a heck of a halftime speech, Dave. You're up four and. I don't know that Utah scores for five or six minutes. You, you push that lead to 17. Maybe talk about, if you could, some of the adjustments or things you said and what, what led to that nice start in the second half. Well, I'll tell you this. that This this group has got a tendency to when we get up, you know, two baskets, three baskets, five, six points or so, that we – we our, our, our purpose is, is maybe challenged a little bit. We're – all right, we, we got a little bit of a lead, so – you know, maybe we'll try a few things, you know, maybe a higher difficulty level or whatever, you know, and, and maybe the percentage isn't the best. And the challenge was that when we got into the second half and we start with the four-point lead, that we, we do what we're really good at, all right, as long as it continues to work. And I really thought that our our purpose offensively was really good in to start the second half, that you know, sometimes you, you overpass. You don't want that to happen. But we found exactly the right mix to turn down good shots and pass for better shots, get the ball at the block, drive the ball. Uh, but good patience uh, as, as far as, you know, attacking and using the clock. And, and they, they were missing. They, we were getting miss after miss and, uh, you know, able to build that lead a little bit to start that second half. Well, you know, back in the day when posters were a thing, we talked about guys getting posterized and poster dunks, and I guess we call them screensavers now. So we had a screensaver dunk from Yoli Childs in this game here today. Yeah, that, that was uh, pretty impressive. And, you know, the, the, the funny thing about it is when he went up and I saw the two guys in the way, I just thought he was going to end up getting fouled. You know, I thought that, you know, one of the guys would go after him. Uh, and I thought he was too far away, you know, to actually, you know, get his arm and the ball to the rim. Uh, but... You know, it, it, it's it's amazing over the 30-some-odd years I've been coaching. They'll, there are certain plays that will stand out, and that obviously will be one of them. So Yoli's dunk was one of the dunks to talk about. The other was Zach Selyus's first career dunk as a Clear, BYU Cougar. He's he clearly got that inspired today. by Yoli. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there was a lot of emotion in that in that group, and, and I was so happy. I mean, I'm happy for all the guys. I mean, these guys, they, they work so hard and put so much into it. But those three especially, Yoli and TJ and Zach, they've grown up in the state. And they watch these games as kids, and they've made their decision to pick, you know, sides, and then be able to come in. And, and TJ finished that game off in style. I mean, yeah. he just just controlling the tempo, the possessions, uh, made a huge block on defense, got a little steal. I mean, I, I just I'm happy for all three of those guys because, like we said before, you know, what 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 does a rivalry game really mean? And, and it, 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 it it it's a it's a little different because. It lasts the whole year until you play again, but for for for, for most of the guys, it, it kind of lasts for a lifetime. They'll be talking about this game for yep. a long time, especially that dunk from Yo. <laughs> Something else. So Nick didn't have the game he had today that he had on Wednesday, but the season will be a journey for him, won't it? Yeah, and, and Nick and I talked in the locker room after, and, and you know he he said, Coach, I had you know I I, I don't know if. You know, back in my day, you were just nervous. Now maybe you got a little performance anxiety. You know, he said this was really, really exciting for me to be a part of this win. And that's all I need to hear. That's a guy that is so determined to help this team uh, after all the things he's been through. And so hopefully that uh, get back in the gym on Monday and let's move forward as a, as a whole group. we got everybody together now. And back in the Marriott Center for a game day Wednesday and enjoy it because it'll be the last one you have for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got quite a stretch. But uh, I think, you know, there's so many – so many ways for our team to get better here in the next month getting ready for uh for our first league game and and hopefully we do that